So, welcome back to Kickboxing with Mike D. Today we're gonna to get very personal and very intense. I'm gonna teach you some self-defense, okay? I don't even like to use the word self-defense because if you wanna learn about self-defense, talk to a freaking lawyer, okay? This is more about getting yourself out of a dangerous situation, okay? So, I remember one of my MMA friends back in the day said, I hit people so hard that it's like when you step on a bug, they start running around. And it's true because he had what we're gonna talk about today, violence of action, okay? Violence of action is what's gonna get you out of a situation. None of this bullshito, I like to call it, where they're like, break the arm, break the leg. I'm gonna use my remote as a knife. Stab at me like this, stab at me like this, okay? This is what a knife attack will fight. What are you gonna do against that? Nothing, nothing. So, you gotta have violence of action, you gotta act first. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna talk about how to train for a self-defense situation or to get yourself out of something, okay? Now, I don't like palm strikes. Ugh. Oh yeah, to my face or my head. If you punch me in the nose or the forehead, I'm coming at you. I'm 210 pounds of anger coming at you, okay? So, what I like to do is if you hit me in the mouth, the ears, right here, right here, in the kidneys, I might retreat because that shit hurts, okay? So, it's not even about the proper technique, okay? So proper technique, I'm gonna punch in the mouth, I'm gonna punch in the mouth, I'm gonna punch in the head. In a self-defense situation, it doesn't matter, okay? So, I'm just gonna go over some basic hammer fists, okay? I like hammer fists because you can hit the side of the head with a closed fist with an open hand. spots that are weak, make somebody go down or go, oh my God, and you can run the hell out of there, okay? And that's what it's not about. It's not about going, oh, we're gonna take them down smoothly, we're gonna do all this bull crap, okay? We're gonna hit them as hard as we can, as fast as we can, and we're gonna bolt, okay? So, when I train for stuff like this, once again, this is the end of my workout, I like to be tired when I do these things, okay? So, here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna go over, so I'm not, I, I don't train like I do for a kickboxing match, okay? I don't like to talk about my past fighting because it's kind of like bragging, oh, I used to, I used to. I don't like doing that, but a lot of people are asking me to post and talk about my past fighting experiences. So, I will. So, when you're fighting in the ring, it's a little different. You're trying to get points, okay? Everything's fast, 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 fast. You're trying to outland points and you're trying to move to not land points, okay? Because if you went all out, you'd be, I don't care who you are, in eight to 15 seconds, you're gonna be gassed, okay? So, in a self-defense situation, and how I train for it is 100%, okay? Loud yells, none of the breathing, none of the other stuff, just yelling as loud as I can, okay? So, once again, this is gonna look crazy and it gets intense, but this is how you have to train and this is what's gonna get you out of a dangerous situation, okay? So, for example, when I'm doing my front leg round kick with the jab, for kickboxing, it looks like this. Okay? Very controlled, very fast breathing. Okay? When I'm training for self-defense, I'm throwing as many moves as I can with loud yells, okay? I even pump myself up with loud yells. I like karate because there's loud yells, violence of action. Um, and once again, these moves aren't gonna save your life. One move isn't gonna save your life, but it's the effort you put into it that will save you, okay? So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put it together a combo of hammer fists, punching everywhere, okay? And it doesn't look like this. It looks like this. Okay, now, did they get my heart rate up? Yes, am I out of breath? Yes, okay, so. When you're in a self-defense situation, I upset my dog out there, I'm sorry. When you're looking at somebody and they're intense, and they're looking at you like they want to fight, trust me, I've been in law enforcement for a long time. I've seen it, I've seen it in fighting, I've seen it everywhere. You go, oh crap, he's gonna swing on me. Your heart rate goes up, you get shortness of breath. You gotta do something, okay? If you're not ready for that, you're gonna drop, or you're gonna freeze, fight, flight, or freeze. You're not gonna know what to do, okay? But if you train at the end of your workouts to get your heart rate going, if somebody puts their hand on you and you, or they take a swing at you, you hit them with four to six punches, get the hell out of there, 
they're probably gonna run away. Because remember, these guys coming after people, they're cowards. They go after the weakest link, okay? Or they wanna prove something. They go after a big jabroni like me, okay? I'm not gonna let it happen. And I don't want it to happen to any of you, okay? So, next week we're gonna get some combos in. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, you start to train. And we're gonna battle at the class. Bust.